Hi, I'm Gia Nicolaides. Here's your morning brief on the coronavirus. It's day 26 of the national lockdown, with nine days to go. The total number of confirmed COVID-19 cases now stands at 3,300, and four more deaths have been recorded, with the total now standing at 58. The good news is that 1,055 people are now officially listed as recovered, and over 120,000 tests have been conducted. But the lockdown has had dire consequences, and many people are going hungry. Yesterday, President Cyril Ramaphosa conceded that the lockdown has highlighted several inequalities in society, saying he's disturbed by claims that people, including government officials, have been selling food parcels, earmarked for those in need. And the reality is that while the middle class rage about the withdrawal of rotisserie chicken, people on a daily or casual wage just can't afford food. Yesterday, government gazetted the ban on the sale of hot foods. So this means you cannot buy hot cooked food at any retailer during the lockdown. Business group Sarka Licha will however continue with its legal action to lift the ban. The Fair Trade Independent Tobacco Association has given government until today to respond to its request to lift the ban on cigarette sales. The organization is calling for the distribution and sale of cigarettes to resume at retailers, sponsor shops and filling stations. However, government has reaffirmed that the ban of certain items will remain in place throughout the lockdown. And just last week, government refused to lift the ban on the sale of alcohol. While several countries prepare to lift the lockdown restrictions due to improved COVID-19 figures, the World Health Organization is warning that the worst is yet to come. Countries like Germany and Norway are relaxing some of their restrictions this week, while Spain and New Zealand say such a move will only be on the cards in the next few weeks. And in the United States, the debate over the restrictions has intensified, with protesters labeling the lockdowns as tyranny. Globally, there are over 2.4 million cases of the coronavirus and 170,000 deaths. For this and more on the pandemic, go to ewn.co.za forward slash coronavirus.